This is problem number three from section 6.2. It says, refer to the figure below. Find the distance from P to Q. So they want us to find uh, this distance here. If PR is 86.12, so PR 86, let's, call it, let's label that 86.12. And the angle PQR, so remember with our geometry here, PQR, so that's this angle here, is 23.81. So that's not too bad. We've got an angle, we've got a side. Let's start to label these. We want to find PQ. Pretty quick problem here. We can say that this is the opposite side of the angle. This is the adjacent side. And this is the hypotenuse. We're going to, obviously they use P, uh, P to Q, so I'm going to just call this side PQ. Now remember that's just one variable. I guess you could say, let's use X. We'll use X here. So X is this side here. Well, that's opposite and adjacent. Remember, Sokotoa. So Sokotoa. Opposite adjacent. So opposite and adjacent. That's O and A, which is tangent. So tangent, 86. Oh, not 86. Let's do that again. Tangent of the angle, 23.81 degrees, equals opposite side, which is 86.12 over, and I think that's feet, so we'll put feet there, over x. Just like we've done in the previous problems, we're going to multiply by the x. And then we'll divide by the tan 23.81. I like to put this in parentheses just so you know that it's the input for the tangent function. So 86.12 feet divided by now tan 23.81 degrees. And we can plug this in the calculator. So we're going to say 86.12 divided by tan 23.81. That tells us that our x value is 195 point, and they want us to round to the nearest tenth. So that's 195.2 feet. And that is uh, the length of this side here, P to Q.